this is John and in this tutorial we're going to look at upcasting and downcasting in Java. So I'm going to start by creating a couple of classes here. I'm going to create a class called um, machine and um, I'm going to give this one method public void start and I'm going to put some implementation in there. I'm just going to put sys out with machine started like that and then I'm going to create a child class class camera and um, I'm going to say camera extends machine because a camera is a kind of machine and I'm going to override this method so let's just copy it and paste it in here and change this to camera started and I'll give camera another method of its own, public void snap. And let's say here, sys out um, photo taken. Um, now let's uh, let's create a couple of objects of the type camera and uh, machine. So machine, I can say machine uh, one equals new machine. And I can say camera, camera one equals new camera. And of course I can call the methods on these. So I can say machine one dot start and camera one dot start and camera one dot snap. So let's just run all that stuff and uh, make sure it works as expected, which is always good. So there we go. And um, now let's take a look first at upcasting, which is the uh, simpler case um, in some ways. So I'll put a comment here, upcasting. Now um, upcasting and downcasting, or casting in general, is a thing you do with variables basically. Uh, once you've created an object, like an object of type machine or camera in this case, those objects are always going to be uh, whatever they are to start with. The machine will always be a machine the camera will always be a camera but you can change um, the variables that refer to them from one type to another. So um, as an example we've, we saw in the, um, the tutorial on polymorphism that you can always use an object um, of a child class type where you um, would expect a object of a parent class type. So uh, machine is the parent class and if I say machine, machine2 I could set that equal to a new camera quite happily and this is polymorphism and we know that that's going to work but what I could also do uh, more subtly is uh, we see here that camera1 points at a camera so I could set the machine2 variable to refer to the same object that the camera1 variable, variable refers to which is this object here so I could say machine2 equals camera1 and um, what I've done here in effect is, well I've taken a variable of type camera that refers to a uh, camera object and I've made this variable of type machine refer to that object. So the, we say that the, I've upcasted or I've casted um, this reference, this variable, to this variable type and it's up because we've gone up the class hierarchy from camera to machine. So this um, this was this is referring to a camera, um, and I've taken that camera object and I've made a variable of type machine further up the class hierarchy, refer to it, and now I can say uh, machine two dot start, and if I do that, um, which start method is going to be invoked? Well, um, the answer is it depends on whatever object that machine two refers to, because the methods and the, and the implementation the guts of um, the actual code that actually does stuff is, is not stored in the variable, it's stored in the object and the variable, the reference variable, merely refers to that object. Um, so um, if, if, if I thought that this was going to call the start method in machine it would be like um, having a, a label um, that I've stuck on my car um, that says my car and then expecting to be able to drive the label because um, it's the car that actually does stuff, it's the object that actually does stuff. So when I call machine2.start then um, it's going to 
call this camera method because the actual object referred to by machine 2 is a camera object. So if I run that now, we can see here it says camera started. Um, that's upcasting and now you notice that okay, camera has this method snap but I can't say machine2.snap so the autocomplete isn't helping me and now I'm getting an error here and it's saying uh, the method snap is undefined for the type machine and the reason for that is that um, it's the actual variable that decides what methods you can call the variable knows what methods are available for, the, for that variable type and the, the variable here machine2 is a type machine and a machine only has a start method so this variable will only let me call the um, start method it won't let me call camera methods even though it is referring to a camera um, uh, but we'll see in a minute that there's a way around that and um, so the important thing to remember here is that the variable declares the type of the variable um, determines what method you can call but it's the type of the object that that variable refers to that determines which actual methods like what which actual Im implementations will actually be called when you call that method so let's take a look now at um, the converse of this downcasting so I'll put a comment here downcasting um, and let's again have a, um, a variable of type machine let's call this machine 3 and again let's make it refer to a camera like this so um, I can't call machine 3.snap that won't work um, but I know that machine 3 is referring to a camera and that camera does have a method called snap so of course I could think well there must be a way of calling that snap method and there is because I can say here I can declare a variable of type camera let's call it camera 2 now and I can set that equal to machine 3 in other words I can set that equal I can set camera 2 to refer to whatever object machine 3 refers to which is this camera object here and now I'm getting an error here and um, it's saying cannot convert from machine to camera and the reason for that is when you downcast Java wants confirmation that you actually know what you're doing for reasons that we'll see in a minute and to give it that confirmation you need to put the type of the variable that you're casting to in brackets before um, the variable that you're casting from so I'm casting a variable of type machine to a variable of type camera um, so I have to put camera here in front of machine to match this and now I can say camera 2 dot snap like that uh, and of course if I say camera 2 dot start of course that's going to call the method in camera because the object all along was a camera so they've got photo taken and camera started now um, the reason that Java wants this confirmation here is because unlike upcasting, downcasting is inherently unsafe uh, because I could say here machine uh, machine machine 4 equals new machine okay that's fine and I could think okay I could forget that that's a machine object and I could say camera camera 3 equals um, and I could try to cast this to a camera let's put some brackets in there camera and I'll put machine 4 here and now I'm not going to get a syntax error there and it's giving me an unused variable warning let's try to use it camera 3 dot start and uh, what's going to happen when I actually run this code so I run it and I've got an exception and it's saying class cast exception machine cannot be cast to camera and if I click on the, the error line here so you should always read um, exceptions from top down and the first line in fact the only line with a, um, a line number on it here is this and here's where the problem occurred so I can't do that because um, this is this is like saying basically I could also have tried to call camera 3 dot start and that wouldn't work either I'm oh, sorry not, uh, not start but snap 
and uh, the reason for that for this is that um, that the actual object here is a machine so um, I can't just change the machine object into a camera uh, objects are what they are they don't change and when I start trying to call um, the camera version of start using a machine object or when I start trying to call camera methods which machine doesn't have then I've got a problem and you only see the problem at runtime so this doesn't work let's say run time error and uh, let's just comment this out so that um, if you look at this code on caveofprogramming.com um, you'll find that the, the program at least runs um, well actually I need to comment this out as well because that's where the error is there we go so you can't do this um, and so here like we see upcasting is safe um, that's guaranteed by polymorphism and you don't need a, a cast there but you don't need an explicit cast in brackets but downcasting is inherently unsafe and you have to really think when you're doing downcasting and you want to be really sure that the variable you're downcasting really does refer to an object of the type that you're downcasting to and by the way um, you can't downcast uh, between unrelated types again for the same reason that you can't downcast a machine object to a um, to a camera um, because you can't change one object to another object all you can do is change the uh, references and the references then depend on the underlying object um, which doesn't change to invoke the correct code so that's upcasting and downcasting it's a tricky subject that can take a little while to get your head around but it's really important to know especially since um, you often find methods that return an object uh, that have a return type of object but um, the, the real object underneath is some specific child object and then you need to cast that object into um, the right type to actually use it um, but uh, I don't know if it's really worth looking at that here um, probably not um, so I'll leave that but be aware that some, it's, it's quite common in Java to cast um, an object um, which is the parent of all um, objects in Java or the grandparent or whatever it's really common to cast objects to uh, objects further down the hierarchy but you have to be sure that the, um, the object variable that you're casting really does refer to the kind of object that you're trying to downcast to otherwise you will get an error at runtime so that's uh, upcasting and downcasting um, and uh, as far as I can think um, we've now covered everything that we need to look at using generics so probably in the next tutorial we're going to look at generics in Java so join me again then and until next time happy